Hi everybody, welcome in to Watch Me Wednesday. It is my episode number 33 and I'm super excited today about this episode for lots of reasons. Um, today is the, the, the day that we're actually going to kind of dig into the quilt along. Hi everybody, welcome in. Uh, we're going to dig into the quilt along today. This I'm considering it week two since I announced it last week. Um, so hit the share button um, so that if you know of any of your friends that might want to join in on the quilt along, they can join in with us. That would be fantastic. The more the merrier. We've had a great response so far. Uh, lots of people have purchased the pattern and are getting ready to uh, make their quilts. And I can't wait to share with you the next steps in creating the quilt. Um, it's going to be a fun quilt along because I'm actually going to get to finish the one I started, which is cool. So, and I can't wait to see what your versions are going to be as well. The other reason I'm super excited about today is because today is the very last day to enter the giveaway for this beautiful machine, this Viking 145C. So if you haven't entered to win the uh, for a chance to win this machine you're going to want to do that today because midnight tonight actually 11:59 tonight the entries close and then first thing when i get up tomorrow morning i'm going to hit that little button that and i'm going to generate a random winner of this machine they will be notified uh of their uh winning and then we i will actually be shipping it to whoever wins the machine. So I'm really super excited about that. Uh, I can't wait to see who's gonna win this. It's been three and a half weeks since we announced it and it's gonna be, it's gonna make somebody's day. I, I'll tell you, I've had fun working on this machine. So if you haven't gotten to see some of the features of the machine, you're gonna wanna go back and watch the other videos to see some of those features. And I will put the link again in my post so uh, if you haven't entered, you, you'll know where to enter after uh, this video broadcast. So, but in the meantime, let's dive into the quilt along. So go ahead, hit that share button so that others can join in and see where we're gonna go today with this. Okay, so as you know, last week I announced that we were gonna do a quilt along with the, uh, my mountains and plains pattern. Um, as you know, some of my patterns are now in Quiltster where you can colorize them yourselves. This is not one that's currently there, but it will be there. And we actually just announced today, I have five more patterns in Quiltster that you can play with and colorize. And then all you would need to do is um, purchase the pattern from me and then it tells you how much yardage you're gonna need depending on where you have placed your colors of each fabric. So I just announced that actually prior to coming on air now um, about those patterns that are in Quilster. So this will be coming soon. It's not there yet. So um, you have to use your imagination. But it is, um, as I had said last week, it's a 15 fat quarter uh, quilt. And we all have fat quarters, right? And then, of course, your background fabric. So I want to show you kind of where you need to go. And I also have put a new PDF up on my site. I have created that new page on my website, www.cvquiltworks.com. Uh, the page is actually currently existing under the tab at the top called Other. And if, if you hover over that, it gives you a drop down menu um, where it says quilt alongs. Click on that and it's gonna give you um, the, the week by week, it'll give you the PDFs that you can either print, download and print off, or you can just leave up on your computer, read them and see what you need to do. So I have that as a permanent um, part on my uh, website. So, because I plan on doing lots more future quilt alongs. Um, so, hoping that you really start to enjoy i know the first one i did with my spinning wheels pattern pattern we had quite a few people join in and this one there's a lot more joining in i have created a facebook uh, site 
uh, or group, I should say, for it, I would love for you to join that Facebook group, and I'll put the link in again. There's a lot of people that have joined it already, and you can post the fabrics that you've selected, get opinions from us as to what we think. If you're not sure about fabrics, it's going to be a lot of fun doing it that way, I think. Um, because I, for one, I love to garner other people's opinions about, ooh, do you like this fabric versus that fabric? Or what do you think of this background? Um, so it's a great place to go ahead and share your ideas and share your thoughts and show us your fabrics, etc., And even show us your progress on your quilt. So with that said, as I told you, I'm going to be finishing my second one of these. So what you're going to need to do for next week's um, ver, uh, quilt along, week number three, I should say, of the quilt along, is if you haven't gotten your pattern, obviously you have to get that first because it gives you all the yardage requirements, etc. Once you get your pattern, you're going to need to do the cutting. And that's where on that PDF I tell you what cutting you're going to have to go through. Um, I pretty much want you to prepare all your cutting for next week. And then we're going to start sewing. Okay. So I'm trying to break it down into little chunks so that it's easier for those of you who um, work and don't have a whole lot of time. Uh, some of you who may not work or you're retired, you may want to get right into the sewing and feel free to do so if you want to. Thank you, Nedra. Nedra's made this uh, pattern before and she really likes the pattern. It's really quick and easy. Um, it's a nice scrappy pattern. So, and I'm also going to give you a couple little hints today too because remember last week I showed you this little mini one I did, okay, as opposed to the full size block. Okay, so I also am going to give you a little tip on how to make this little mini block. Okay, and the mini block actually, if you look, it's the size of this black block. So wouldn't that be cool if you really, really had the time, now if you look up close, if you really, really wanted to, instead of creating just the... Um, background square, cutting the background square, you could do, the pattern calls for 36 of these background squares, you really could make 36 of these little mini squares to be your inner background square. Wouldn't that be a cool idea? Because you've got smaller strips in here versus the larger strips. And that would actually be kind of cool. I thought about that this morning. I thought, well, you could make a mini quilt, but what about incorporating the mini block into the quilt itself and then it kind of steps up from those small strips to the larger ones. That's kind of neat. What do you think about that? I'll be curious to see if anybody takes that challenge on. So I'll get to this later but I want to show you what I, I need you to do for next week. So we're going to be cutting out our fabrics um, and on the PDF I'm going to be well, in the pattern, it has all the cutting instructions, and I direct you exactly to where you're going to have And I have laid out here. I'm going to turn the camera around, and you're actually going to get to see. There's my quilt inspector one. He's sleeping there. Do you see him? Hey, what a guy, huh? He's just looking over everything. So this is kind of what I'm going to have you guys do, okay? Um, I've pre-cut my strips out, and I like to sort them out into the size strips that you need, okay? So they're all cut and ready to go. What you can do if you like, and I explained this on the PDF, um, you can clip them together with a little clip or you can throw them into a Ziploc bag um, specifically for each size though. Don't mix the sizes in because they go together on the block in a certain order. So you need, you need to have them separate. So you want to have your... Um, pieces all cut and ready to go. Clip them, bag them, you can put them into a uh, sandwich baggie if you want. So those are the uh, pieces that are going to go around your block, okay? That and all the sizes that you need are in the pattern, so I'm not going to go over the sizes because that's something you'll, you'll find in the pattern. You also need to cut uh, a 
a lot of the longer strips as well because we're going to use these for our border triangles okay so that's in there as well so that you have to get done as well then you're going to need your these are for your corner half square triangles so there's four i picked out four different colors now this second one that i'm doing is they're all african fabrics the first one that i did was all um, Australian fabrics that's on the cover. I'm, I'm also going to answer some questions that came up from the last uh, Watch Me Wednesday video, so I, I'll go over those as well. You're also going to have to cut out your background fabric, so you're going to have to cut out your squares, which are the squares for the block here, your background squares, so th those, and I did more black squares. Um, or if you're so inclined to take that challenge, you can make a little mini and do that square for the um, background squares. That would be cool if somebody took on my challenge. Let's see who's who's uh, going to do that. Then you have to cut out um, more larger squares uh, to create those half square triangles with, these are the corner blocks, so the half square triangles with the prints that you need. Then you're going to have to cut out um, some more black strips for your inner borders, uh, for your binding, and then also some larger strips for the outer border triangles that you're going to need. So those are, those are your basic cutting instructions and where you kind of need to get to for next week. Now, I want to show you something, which I did for you. I want to explain to you about the possibility of doing the little mini block. So if somebody's so inclined and does not want to do the larger block um, and really wants to do the mini block that I did, I'm going to tell you what the dimensions are for this. So um, I'm going to come back up here so you can see me. So here we go. Let's see. Let's get you up a little farther. There we go. Okay. So I um, in reference to some of the questions that I had about the um, mini block and also what size strips that you need. So the size strips are all in the um, pattern. They are one and a half inch. People have been asking me, can I do a jelly roll, which is a two and a half inch strip. Certainly you can do a jelly roll if you want. The, if you just keep it at that two and a half inch strips, you're gonna have to upsize the um, block just slightly too unless you want the block this will seem smaller if you just use the two and a half inch square um, so you'd have to also upsize the block but here's something that you can do if you take the jelly roll and you do the one and a half inch strips like instructed in the pattern you can also cut at the same time out of that two and a half inch strip the strips for the little mini Okay, and that's exactly what I did. I had two and a half inch strips of my African fabric, and I cut, the first cut I made was three quarter inch strip. That's the size of these strips. It's three quarter inches to make this little mini, okay? These are each three quarter inch in width, okay? So the first thing you'll do for that little mini, if you're using a jelly roll, cut three quarter inch width off of that strip. Then you're gonna trim down your two and a half inch strip to that one and a half inch. And it leaves you just a little sliver left that you can use to, to wrap presents in if you want to, or use as pretty ribbon or whatever. But it's a teeny, 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 teeny little bit. It's probably, less than a half an inch, um, I'd say maybe a quarter inch, maybe, if at most. But anyway, so you're going to, if you want to do, and that would enable you to do both. So if you started off with a, a jelly roll, two and a half inch strip, you can still get that one and a half inch strip that you need for the um, big block. And you can also get the three quarter inch strip that you would need for the mini. So you can actually make two quilts if you wanted to. Now, 
you're gonna ask me what size is this little block. So I jotted that down to that is two, it's a two and a half inch square, okay? So if you just wanted to make this mini block, the little strips are three and a quarter inches wide and the square is two and a half inches square, okay? So when you cut down your two and a half inch strips to three quarter inch, make sure you're cutting background fabric out that's two and a half inch square. You can use that from a jelly roll too if you want because it's a two and a half inch strip. Um, so you can also do that. So basically, all you need to do before next week, before we actually start sewing, is what I showed you. Do all the cutting. That's on the PDF download. Um, that's on my site under Quilt Alongs, okay? Um, so just get the cutting done. This is a no pressure sew along. I don't want you to feel like you have to have things sewed by next week because you don't. It's going to be a leisurely quilt along and I want you to have fun with it. And I also had questions um, about, because I showed my quilt, I, obviously both of these quilts have a dark background. They have a black background. Somebody asked me if it's really nice in a light background and I can tell you, and I can't show you, I can tell you, yes, I have this quilt made up in a very light, almost white background, not quite. Um, and the reason I can't show you is because you'll be seeing it sometime, probably in April. It's uh, with my new spring fabric line. And I, I redid Mountains and Plains because I really liked um, I really liked what I thought it was going to look like in my new fabric line. So if you're thinking about going light for the background, yes, it looks fantastic. And also consider, consider what you like as far as colors. Um, you can use really anything as a background. Just make sure you have some contrast between the background and your strips and it's going to look fantastic. You know, use a lime green. If you like lime green, use a lime green as your background and then have those nice citrusy, bright, bold colors as your um, contrasting strips. Why not, right? Um, so, you, you know, use, use what you think. What about even using a print as a background fabric and then using solids as your strips? That would be kind of cool, right? Um, so, you know, you're, you're gonna you're gonna see what you like the best and that's why I said join the Facebook group all you have to do is request to join and I'll put the link for that again um, and I will add you to the group you can put your colors you can lay out your fabrics if you want and ask the group what they think join in on the conversation let's get some opinions we all love to know how things are gonna look so definitely do that Thanks, Kyra. I can't wait to show you guys my spring line, but it's going to be just a little bit yet, so hang tight because the Blue Moon fabric, by the way, came in. I'll be putting it up on my website uh, probably by the end of the week, so you will have a chance to buy some of the Blue Moon fabric, which was the fall line. Um, anyway, so that's about it for the quilt along, and I'm just going to recap if you haven't joined in for the giveaway yet on this machine, because I'm giving this machine away, the giveaway ends at 11.59 tonight. If you have not entered, please go to my blog and enter. I will put the link in the post afterwards. I'm going to be drawing the name tomorrow, so you watch out for an announcement right here on my Canton Village Quilt Works Facebook page. I cannot wait to see who wins. I know that there's a lot of people out there that are super excited and I can't wait to draw that winner. So um, it's going to be exciting. Make sure you enter the giveaway for this machine before 11.59 tonight, okay? And then um, get your P download your PDF for the quilt along for the Mountains and Plains quilt for week number two and it's marked there, week number two. If you haven't gotten the first one, Download the first one. It's going to tell you what supplies you will need for the quilt along. Um, and then next week on episode number 34, we're going to start sewing. I'm going to show you how to put the block together. Okay. So if you, if you have any questions, 
You can leave a comment here um, and I will an answer the questions uh, or you can post them into our Facebook group. The Facebook group is Quilt Alongs with Canton Village Quilt Work, Quilt Works, and I'll put the link again for the group up in the post. So you can always post questions there. I know um, we as quilters are always uh, helpful in giving some guidance or our opinions as to what colors look great together or if somebody's having a problem. So definitely post questions there as well. Okay, so if you haven't yet, hit the share button so that other people can join in. And I can't wait till next week and we'll get sewing. So take care, everybody. And you guys have a very happy week and happy quilting to you all. Bye-bye.